my name is Lisa. This is Stuart. Hello. Aguidas. Aguar Aguardo. Yeah. No, Aguidas. Aguidas. Aguidas, of course. But yeah, how was your class today? It was fantastic. Thanks for asking. The kids were marvelous. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into some dance questions. Are you ready? I'm super ready. Hey, Stu, when did you start dancing? 1996. <laughs> I think I was three years old yeah. when Stu started dancing. How, how old are you now? Turning 35. You can keep going, guys. Dancing can last forever. He is... Almost forever. Describe your dance style. My dance style? It's a pretty long answer, that was to be super accurate, but if I was to kind of summarize it, it is a mixture of isolation, tutting, grooving, hip-hop culture, movement. Um, I started off as a b-boy, so there's a lot of floor work influence. Uh, I love my popping and locking and tutting skills. Yeah, depending on the music, I'll fuse and take it, mash up, put it together. And house, oh yeah, house, I love my house. Now that you're teaching classes with like choreography and stuff, how important is freestyle for you? Just because a lot of dancers, when they get into choreography, they <clears> don't, <throat> they're not comfortable with freestyle. Yeah. So, do you think freestyle is important when it, to be a good dancer? It's extremely important. I feel when you do choreography, it's fun to project the shapes and momentum and textures of what someone created in their mind. But if you were to freestyle, that is so free form and you kind of develop your own identity. Because when you freestyle, there are your own choices, your own textures, your own expression, and it's so unique. And that is probably a big thing with dance because if you can move like no one else, then you'll kind of have an identity as a mover. Whereas if you just do the choreo realm, you could just kind of almost be a replica of like maybe your five different best favorite choreographers and not really have an identity of your own. So it's important to have both and both complement each other very well. So that's my answer. Nice. You have been dancing for a really long time. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> what inspires you to continue dancing? I'm obsessed with music. I feel like dance is honestly the best way to you know express that but I mean it goes beyond that. I learned my whole life through dance. Meeting people, connecting, health, momentum, musicality, and it's you know it's very therapeutic too, right? Makes yeah. you happy, makes other people happy, and it's a fun thing to share. So you did mention dancing. health um, is probably a very important dance, like important thing when it comes to dancing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a lot, of, not a lot of dancers take care of themselves. So no. take care of yourself, health, eat right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any kind of advice for someone who's just beginning to dance? Yes, I have lots of advice, but I'll give, I'll leave this one with you. A lot of people are so eager to grow as a dancer, but a lot of dancers that are up and coming are so scared of awkwardness and being vulnerable. And those are the two things that make you grow the fastest. So if you can eliminate that, by just constantly putting yourself out there so that it just becomes normal. Then you can eliminate the fear factor and you can actually start learning. Then your learning acceleration curve goes from here to here. Because if your mind is not in it, it's hard to commit to the movement. So it has to, movement will stem from here. So that's my tip. If you can try and learn and accept that this is awkward and difficult, just be remind yourself, hey, like, the growth, that's the key right there. So I want it, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna go there all the time. That's my advice. How much has the dance scene changed when you started dancing or like 10 years ago? Um, the dance scene has changed extremely because it's simple as the music has changed extremely. And the dance being interpretation of the music, as long as the music keep changing, the dance styles are going to keep changing. So it will forever on be going with that. So yeah, as long as the you know music is not, music's not always evolving, but it's always changing. And then it evolves and then it changes and then it evolves. But through that process, like the, the dance moves are going to do the same thing. They're going to kind of stay on the same wave. Yeah, it'll grow. That's my answer. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Guys, right, so we're gonna do the five second rule. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Name five dance styles. Popping, locking, crumping, tidying house. <laughs> <laughs> Name five types of movies. Um, horror, uh, comedy, drama, uh, science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the action? Where's yeah, the action? Okay. Sorry, um, pressure. Okay, ready? Name five well-known dancers in Vancouver. Uh, Irvin, Lisa, MJ. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> too. And, and Jerome Spina. <laughs> Name five kinds of car brands. Uh, Hyundai, Honda, Civic. Oh, so Asian. <laughs> BMW and uh, Golf. Facebook or Instagram? Do I have to choose one? Yeah. Okay, Facebook. Me too. Summer, fall, winter, or spring? Fall. Why? Because it is the perfect blend of the two. That's true. I always think like, oh, it's gonna rain, so I always think of like summer. Even though I can't wear that much clothing. Yeah, also the fall brings such a different energy and element and color to nature that spring and winter just yeah. so much wisdom from the sky, like it's just, just well, it's winter is win annoying. Like, winter. stop it, will you? Winter's winter. It does, you know, you enjoy it. It's great. It's beautiful. It's always like that. Summer's always like that. And when you watch a movie or see a book, this winter, this summer, this spring, it's like, but you never think about if you go for a walk by yourself during fall. I own dogs, so I have to yell. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it makes you enjoy. Fall yeah. season is my favorite for me personally. I love and appreciate all seasons, but if I have to choose one, Follow Is it a secret talent that no one knows? A secret talent, yes. I am a musician and no one really knows that. I don't. What instrument do you play? Uh, the cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> this one here. Okay. I uh, no, play the guitar. Classic oh. Filipino styles, yeah. Yeah. So you're, not, you're not Filipino, are you? Yes, I can be. <laughs> so awkward. Yes. My last name's Spanish, but my bloodline is full Filipino. I'm so awkward. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, I've spoke eleven languages. That's another one. Yeah. Can you still speak eleven languages? No. Um. That's a question. <laughs> I know what comes after that question, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. Well, thanks, too. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Catch him at what? What are your classes and where? Do you have classes? No. You don't. You do. I do. I do. At, uh, I teach at Harbor. So awkward. Oh, I give her a hard time. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I teach at Harbor Dance Center Wednesdays at 1:30 p.m. and it's um that one in particular is a choreography training class similar to what I taught today. Which is is it like more advanced or is it is it? Uh, I'll teach what I just taught, but like. Um, a little faster, but yeah, it's more on the advanced side. You'll see more seasoned dancers and more seasoned like people who take class and uh, a lot of teachers, more or less. Okay. But I will get another class soon. It'll be just grooving and more intro level, more inviolable. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, dude. Thank you.